Trevor Keller here, Enthusiast Auto Group. Welcome to EAG Super Secret Warehouse number two. After a, a short summer hiatus, we are back in full effect and we've got a ton of new arrivals and first looks to share with you over some upcoming videos, but this is not that video. Uh, today, uh, this car in the middle here is unlike all of the new arrivals it is surrounded by. Uh, this M3 has sold uh, and it has uh, been picked up by a, a very uh, devout and longtime BMW enthusiast, one many people will probably recognize at least the name. He has a, a pretty strong following on YouTube, uh, his channel is obsessed garage. So we do want to welcome Matt Mormon to the EAG owner's circle. Uh, this 05 M3 I'm sure is going to treat you very very well and, and uh, we're very honored to be able to give you that retail experience as a first-time client that we do with with all of our fellow enthusiasts. And, and today we're going to talk about what it's like to buy a car from EAG, what your expectations should be, go through our rejuvenation program, cover a lot of questions that we've been commonly asked about. What goes into that? What are you guys really doing for that five or ten or twenty thousand uh, dollars? We'll get the car up in the air uh, briefly up at the workshop and certainly uh, have a whole lot of fun along the way talking about a lot of other cool cars uh, just in passing. So uh, buckle up. This is going to be a fun one. Uh, again, welcome to the owner's uh, circle, Matt. We're looking forward to working with you. And, and if you have any questions uh, about any of our cars uh, or have a, a car that you love and cherish and want to keep in a great home, uh, do drop us a line, uh, send a text or an email, uh, give us a call. Love to have that conversation and keep your beloved car in another enthusiast home just as we've done for the past 21 years. It's a blessing to do what you love every day and, and we certainly are having a whole lot of fun. As is the case with this E46 M3, many of the new arrivals in the super secret warehouse number two today are uh, repeat visitors. And the definition of that is pretty simple. Uh, that is a car that has gone through EAG's rejuvenation program and been brought to market uh, multiple times. And uh, these uh, new arrivals are certainly some of the more desirable repeat visitors we've had over the past, well, decade. And uh, they get to a point where you've had it a couple, three or four times and it becomes a, a signature car, as is the case again with this Alpine White E46 M3. And knowing these cars' histories and, and having uh, most of the history a lot of times going back to the original owner, uh, same as the Estoril uh, M3 that's just sold to Mr. William in Louisiana, congratulations on that. Uh, and if it's not, it's a car that we've bought uh, from uh, one of the primary owners and then now built a relationship having had it uh, you know, on multiple different occasions. And uh, another uh, car we bought from the original owner and another from the original owner and another from the original owner and another from the uh, selling dealership that sold it new and uh, had that, uh, well, multiple times, multiple times, uh, multiple times, <laughs> a new Sport Evo right there, multiple times. Uh, the Slamans we bought from the first owner, also a repeat visitor. Uh, and uh, real briefly, I do want to thank uh, Mr. Gene for the, the repeat, uh, multiple repeat uh, uh, rejuves. The Astoral M3 sedan and this lovely low mileage 03 M5 are both in for the rejuve, uh, as well as the, the 2002 Turbo, which is great to see the, the very first European turbo production car ever built. Uh, beat 911 there by about a year or so to market. But uh, today, uh, this E46 M3 and the rejuvenation roadmap that has been previously prescribed and then now updated here to the class of 2021 will be what we're talking about. And uh, this car is in really, really fantastic shape. It's done 39,000 miles. Uh, the condition of the car is, uh, well, um, is about as good as it gets for, for the mileage. Uh, a couple little tasteful updates, uh, most notably, of course, being the, the ZCP competition package wheels. You'll notice with the hard solid steel brakes that is not a competition package but it's probably something that uh, might get upgraded uh, during uh, Matt's uh, OEM plus uh, process where he basically takes a car and more modernizes it to the enthusiast standard and uh, that's something uh, EAG has done for a long time as well for our clients prior to the delivery. Uh, of course a lot of the fun is doing it yourself when you are a do-it-yourselfer as uh, many of the followers of Obsessed Garage uh, certainly are as well and uh, you know this car is definitely um, a fantastic example that I'm sure is going to serve him very, very well and, and definitely excited to see the transformation. But in the meantime, you know, this is going to be a, a good, uh, I guess, um, precursor to that, showing you what it is in its, uh, you know, stock, a truest, pure form. Uh, the S54, of course, being, you know, the last six cylinder naturally aspirated uh, in an M car, uh, especially one with a dipstick, uh, you know, is a legendary motor by every respect.
respect. And, and uh, you know, when you open it up with a little bit of an intake system and an exhaust system, they certainly do come uh, alive. And uh, again, I'm sure we're going to see that uh, in uh, Matt's upcoming videos as well. Uh, but you know, having the right base and having the right car to, to invest all that time and effort and energy, and, and again, money, uh, it, it does cost more money to, to keep going in the hobby and add that type of stuff. You, you know, you've really got to start with the right car. And you know, this car has had a great service history. We, we have the majority of it here, of course, on file. And uh, trying not to put flash uh, any uh, personal info here, we can kind of go back to the timeline here when EAG first uh, acquired the car back in 14, 28,000 miles. Uh, did a, a you know, big service on it, uh, trailing arm bushings, uh, some of the vanity stuff. Uh, inspection too with a valve adjustment, of course. And I believe we sold it to a client, uh, I wanna say in, North Carolina. Um, and then uh, the next owner, yep, that's right. Uh, there's the, the next service order. And we can see um, you know, how much uh, this uh, enthusiast spent uh, during his uh, ownership uh, over the next two years, which was pretty darn minimal. Uh, here uh, now EAG buys the car back again, uh, about an oil change worth of mileage uh, later, uh, of course, uh, then goes through the program again. Didn't have to do quite as much to it, uh, knowing that we'd already set the previous owners up for success. And then the next owner is in California and owned the car for the next six years. Uh, again, not a whole lot of uh, money had to be invested during his ownership, uh, some of the which uh, is warranty work probably for the airbags. Um, uh, and um, well, uh, yeah, setting these guys up to have a low cost of ownership and then being able to see all of these records uh, post uh, uh, their ownership. Uh, and I think that's where we, uh, yep, got a new windshield and oof, you should go to some independents. Um, uh, that can definitely be a little uh, more cost effective. You can still get the genuine glass. That, that's definitely a retail uh, uh, bill there. But um, all the same, at least they put the right glass in. And uh, of course, the DCS report and build sheet. Uh, new set of uh, floor mats uh, is a bit of a gift uh, to go along with the car and you know uh, it's um, a, a, a fun hobby it's still a hobby for, for us and being able to, to go through and get these cars fully sorted out it is a long process and and once somebody has reviewed the full data file that to start typically starts with arrival photos in kind of a, a, well arrival condition a lot of times taken in this building or outside the shop and then we'll have the studio photos after a quick detail of course we'll have that documentation folder available via a Dropbox link and, and any and everything that uh, we would want to see uh, as an educated remote buyer is what you're going to find when you, you inquire to learn more about one of our cars. Once uh, somebody has reviewed that full data file, then they're in a position to, to make an educated decision. Uh, at that point, then we uh, obviously will uh, come together, get the car uh, in their name, uh, $500 deposit over the phone with the credit card. Boom, they own it. Uh, but now that's where the fun starts and the process starts and, and the EAG post-sale inspection begins. And uh, that's where the car will then be retrieved from the warehouse at the next available opportunity in the workshop. And of course, balancing all the rejuve work and all the other sold cars, it is a bit of a balancing act and does take a little bit of time. But then the car then will have any outstanding services and remaining uh, work order items done, especially the time-based stuff like fluids and filters and, and, and tires. Uh, anything that uh, is better just to be fresh upon arrival will go on the car uh, at that time. And uh, well, the whole time, uh, one of the EAG pit crew uh, team members at this point Point, uh, Trevor Bell will be reaching out and keeping you in contact uh, with, with the, the car in the workshop and knowing everything that's going on real time, photos along the way, uh, as it moves its way towards the, the final test drives uh, and then, the, of course, the final detail studio, which you've seen in some of our other videos. So uh, let's jump in the M3. Let's take a quick little drive just a half mile up the road to EAG's workshop number two, and we'll go over uh, the rejuve here in 2021, noting about $11,000 worth of updates to really bring this car up to our standard here today. One of the most fun parts about buying a car from EAG is that EAG experience. And that's when the clients come to Cincinnati. We do some fun uh, test drives and uh, we'll go through the, the EAG facilities. We have five uh, buildings here in the general area with the sixth being the super secret warehouse number one uh, that is a little bit further away. and. When the clients visit for the first time, even after watching quite a few of the videos, uh, they always seem to be a bit uh, impressed and surprised with the, the overall scope and, and size of, of, of our, uh, I guess, enterprise, we'll call it at this point. 
And uh, EAG HQ is just up here on the left. Uh, we have workshop number one there. That is our uh, first uh, location here as Enthusiast Auto as we were coming up over the years. And um, The next location is just a thousand feet up the street, which is uh, EAG's workshop number two. And then another thousand feet up the street on the opposite side of the road, we have both our paint uh, and body department and our paint correction and final detail studio with our photography studio as well. Uh, we're going to take a quick drive-by flying lap, I suppose, to give you that nickel tour and end in the workshop number two. We'll put the M3 up in the air and go over the rejuvenation roadmap as prescribed and now completed. six-cylinder just sounds so so good uh, we passed uh, workshop number two up there on the left a bit we're gonna circle back and end up there but just wanted to give you a quick uh, flying lap here of the body shop and paint studio up here on our right and there we have about 8,000 square feet or so uh, and here we have another uh, car uh, well, just arriving ah look at this perfect timing uh, bring a trailer purchase uh, another e34 m5 touring one we sold 13 or 14 years ago, I believe, uh, in for EAG Rejuve. Looking forward to going over that car for a multiple repeat client. Enclosed is the only way to go, and that's how all of our cars arrive and depart, and we do facilitate that for our clients uh, during the final steps of the purchase experience. And uh, we'll head now to 2.0 to get the M3 up in the air. Here we are at EAG's workshop number two. Now inside EAG's workshop number two, we're gonna go ahead and put the E46 M3 up in the air. We will be going over this eight page EAG rejuvenation roadmap while uh, Ryan goes ahead and puts it up in the air for us. And uh, we might as well take a quick moment to take a lap through the workshop here. Uh, we've got another uh, repeat visitor, E30 M3 in 1991, final model year. Uh, similar to the two final model year Lime Rock Park Edition M3s. Uh, congratulations to Mr. Matson in Hawaii. Looking forward to your arrival here soon to EAG. We're going to have this uh, built-in radar system and uh, all kinds of other uh, requested updates installed for you prior to your uh, cross-country drive with your uh, son. That's going to be a heck of a memorable road trip, I'm sure. Uh, and then we've got another uh, first look opportunity on another six-speed Lime Rock, just 9,000 miles on this one. It's got some pretty cool GTS stuff on it. Uh, more on that later. Uh, another first look on an S54 repeat visitor, uh, 2002 model uh, M Coupe. Uh, and thank you to Mr. Justin out in uh, the Monterey Bay area. Uh, your E39 M5 Rejuve is coming along nicely and certainly looking forward to the EAG party during Monterey Car Week. Uh, he has a fantastic car compound that uh, he does share with other enthusiasts and we'll be out there having a, a little get together for EAG uh, uh, clients and friends. And uh, so if you're in the area, do uh, drop us a line or pre uh, uh, emptively uh, let us uh, know you're going to be out there so we can get you on the list. Uh, so here is the Rejuve roadmap, and, and it starts with uh, about a day or two in, in one of these uh, uh, bays. And anything that we can find to make that car better, uh, would the car be better if... Uh, about 11 and a half grand, which is going to be uh, you know, summed up in basically a full baseline reset. We're going to, of course, check all the usual suspects, do a full Vanos inspection, uh, as well as uh, go ahead and check the rear subframe. While we're in there for the Vanos, we might as well change the plugs and valve cover gasket, check the valve lash, all that stuff, just to ensure that we're setting that next owner up for success again. Another big service with fluids and filters, uh, oil, filth, uh, of course, uh, we've got uh, a lot of more common usual suspects, the constant pressure valve uh, O-ring is is a rubber one and there's a Viton upgrade that will allow that to not uh, leak down the side of the engine block because we, well, that bothers us. Uh, same with the seal ring on the chain tensioner and the transmission mounts are new, the high pressure power steering line that is always a uh, uh, failure item which is uh, right under there on the front of the steering rack there. The, the crush fittings are always starting to sweat about this time by mileage and or date. 
Uh, and then a whole lot of just uh, trim and vanity stuff just to bring the car back up to 21 standards. It's, it's the interiors of these don't age super well and there's a lot of the fabric stuff as we're doing on the customer uh, 7 series Reju if you're the short sport. You know, the, the fabric uh, materials on the B pillars and C pillars and A pillars do have a tendency to let go and uh, so the B pillars uh, I think were replaced uh, and they're, they're not exactly cheap. A uh, new shift knob, new uh, center console, cup holder, all the, the uh, bits and bobs which uh, you know, this parts list of uh, stuff, you know, those are not cheap items. Um, but, you know, we want to go ahead and take the car back to that next level and wipe the 15, 16 years of, of uh, pre-owned off of it. And that's what uh, it takes when you're going to do it to that standard. Of course, the front and rear bumpers uh, have been refinished. Uh, the EAG paint correction and uh, uh, body department, of course, does fantastic work getting those to, to match as well as the color match reflectors you saw there. Uh, and then uh, during the final post-sale inspection, once all the, the stuff has been prescribed, we'll come back through and do our rounds of final checks, do any customer requested upgrades. And uh, if there's anything that we can find during that time, we're simply going to uh, go ahead and spend the money. And, and the, all of this stuff is included in the price of, of buying a car from EAG. And, you know, it's a bit of overkill, but uh, I'd rather find that last minute uh, fault with a, an oil sensor before the car goes on the truck and, and make sure that uh, everything is uh, well set up for success. Uh, the undercarriage of this car is in really great original shape. It has not been, you know, uh, cleaned or detailed or, or uh, dry ice blasted, which is becoming uh, quite a popular uh, item. Uh, we've seen that. Uh, actually, I believe uh, the Obsessed Garage has done that on their E36 M3, and uh, I'm guessing uh, at some point that might end up happening to this car to well, get it looking just like the barrels of all of these wheels do in, in, in a brand new condition. Uh, the subframe is definitely something on the E46s to be mindful of. And you're, you know, you're, we're going to want to clean the area. And there's other videos I've made uh, that, that will go into that more often or more in more detail. But it's, it's, it's a pretty in-depth inspection because we're physically going to, to remove some of the, the body seam sealer to make sure that there's no cracks underlying in the, those areas, which can very often uh, well uh, hide a bigger problem that's uh, just about ready to, to show its ugly face. So with that, uh, I'm very uh, excited to, to hear Matt's feedback when this car arrives uh, down south and certainly encourage any and everybody else with a fantastic car they want to keep in a great home or would like to add one to yours. Uh, reach out to us, drop us an email, uh, do follow the page for, uh, or the, the channel I should say, for, for more videos coming up with a lot more new arrivals. Uh, definitely appreciate everybody's tuning in and well, see ya. And just like that, before the final edits of the video were made, the truck has arrived to take this beautiful EAG E46 M3 down south to Matt and his new home in the Obsessed Garage. Very much looking forward to watching the transformation of this car as you do your thing and certainly hope you enjoy the car as much as, well, the previous owners and write uh, another fantastic chapter for this beautiful car's life. Thanks again for the business, Matt. Enjoy. See ya. Mm -hmm.